Hello and welcome everyone to this auction video for this lovely little uh, Nissan Almira on a 05 plate. This one's covered about, I think it's 85,000 miles. It's a nice little drive. Uh, it's recently had a whole new exhaust and uh, I think this time last year I had a new clutch as well. So should be good for a few more miles yet, shouldn't it really? So I've done a load of photos inside and out. Now let's give you a walk around. I would say that the... Uh, paintwork although it looks quite good on the video and in the photos is a little bit it's a little bit bad in places uh yeah it looks like it's had a bit of a i don't know a respray and not the best job done let's say that so let's have a look at it see what we can see the front end's not looking as bad headlights are looking a bit faded but um it looks structurally straight and in good order obviously we have some stone chips and light scratches here and there uh, a little bit more kind of wear and tear here scuff on the uh, lower part of the bumper there this arch again just looks to me like it's been repainted at some point and we've got kind of stains there from bird's muck which is stuck stuck to the kind of paint uh mirror scratched up fastener door has quite a few chips on it same as the uh, rear door it's got quite a few chips and the uh, rear section of the uh, bodywork here not looking so bad by the filler cap we've got parking sensors on the back and let's just zoom out and have a look at it overall it looks quite nice and straight as i say parking sensors on the back tail lights looking right on that side and um, that side we do have multiple scratches on this uh, and it looks like it's had like uh, all the paint where it's gone cracked so i expect it's had some kind of knock at some point in its life but the boot door is looking good roof is looking good let's come around to the uh, other side here and again we're going back to this paintwork which is just looking like it's got kind of no lacquer on it and again just kind of bird muck stains here and there uh, we've got a bit of a scuff here going on on the lower part of that bumper on the arch should I say and looking at this rear door not looking horrendous some chips on there and yeah the driver's door again paintwork's not looking very good at all and we have a few chips thrown in to match and the uh, mirror is all marked up as well so let's have a look let's have a look on the inside lift the boot door up and that comes up and supports its weight no problem and um, we've got all the uh the carpets there for the foot wells i've just left those there for now and um, we've got the uh, spare bits and pieces in there ignore my keys for all the cars i'm doing here today so let's have a look on the back here could benefit from more cleaning door cards not looking too bad back of the seats aren't too bad footwells not too bad and back seat again not horrendous but obviously could benefit from more cleaning right let's have a look around this side no problem with the operation of the door um, much the same story as the opposite side so let's go around up front here no problem again with the operation of the door door cards looking okay and the interior in here not looking too bad seats aren't that bad there's a few little stains and marks here and there carpets aren't horrendous although they look too look quite bad on my uh, camera I've got all the history i'll go through that within a sec it's quite a bit of history for it let's hop around to the driver's seat get the door open no problem with the operation of the door door cars not looking bad and um, we have all the uh, operation for the windows etc all the buttons there um and we, now we come around to the interior not looking too bad again driver's seat looking a bit tired to be honest but there we go right let's hop in so i had a bit of an issue with getting this fan the internal fan here to uh to switch off it seems to be stuck on auto so i'm not sure what's going on there i can't seem to adjust, adjust the this here Uh, let's get over to the mileage, get all the lights off, handbrake off. We've got no warning lights there. Um, we've got a mileage there of 85,871 miles. Switch it all off. 
It comes with two keys, both seem to work fine. Let's try the other one, doing a little start up. And again, no warning lights. So let's have a look at this history. I'm gonna switch this off for a minute because I don't want that fan being all noisy. Um, I'm just bet I've just pressed something wrong whilst I was cleaning it here and now I can't get it to go off. But anyway, let's have a look at the history. So, let's go to the right page. Okie dokie. So, we've got a service there 2007, 2009, 2011, uh, 2015, 20, uh, 17, and 22. So, that's all the services we've got. Um, we've got an MOT there due to uh, through to the 28th of May. Got the wallet booklets and then some invoices so let's have a look at these invoices we've got an invoice there for um april 24 so rear and center um exhaust which is quite good to have done isn't it um coil pack that was done last year and last year again may of last year we've got tires uh brake pads Oh, sorry, brake caliper, brake fluid, clutch kit, and slave cylinders, which is good to have, isn't it? Again, not a cheap uh, kind of job to have done. So it's a nice one to have done a set uh, as such. 2022, we've got another service there. And 2020, we have some tires and pads. And 2011, we got a service with Howard's and Nissan Howard's. Uh, yeah, a service there and another one in 2007. Right, if you want to have a closer look at all that lot, that is all listed up on the uh, on the dealer auction listing with the photos. So just uh, jump over to that, you can see all these photos. But let's get this one started again, and uh, we'll have a look under the bonnet. Okay, so as you can see, it's not too bad under here. A little bit dirty and dusty, no oily smells, um, but uh, no nasty rattles or anything like that. I'll be quiet and let you have a little look and listen around. So there we have it, guys. A uh, rather nice little Nissan Almera, 85,000 miles. New exhaust, recent clutch and slave cylinder. Uh, not a bad little runner, I think. Thanks for watching and happy bidding.